Last year, Dexter Cote of Estevan, Saskatchewan won $5,000 of GRK fasteners and a pass load nailer in the 2017 ITW Show Us Your Deck Contest. And you didn't, but you got another chance. In 2018, ITW is running the Show Us Your Project Contest. Anything you build with GRK fasteners, deck, fence, barn, whatever, is now eligible. Just go to canadiancontractor.ca slash ITW contest and you'll find more information on the contest and a link to enter. So enter, be a winner, like Dexter. I'm Robert Cosi, publisher of Canadian Contractor, and I am with Gustavo Angola, who is the technical specialist for ITW. We're back in the lab. We're going to be learning about anchoring to concrete. That's okay, right. there's three different ways to do it. Gustavo is going to explain the pros and cons of each. What are we looking at here, Gustavo? All right, so when we're anchoring to concrete, uh, there are three main interaction anchors that you can use for, for this application. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is adhesive, the other one's screw anchors, and then expansion anchors as well. They all work differently. Okay, so tell me, uh, can you tell me in general terms what the advantage of each is and why I would use one over the other in a particular situation? Adhesives, uh, I believe they're versatile. There's a bit of work that goes into installing them because you have to drill, pump the adhesive, put the rod in, but they're definitely very strong and they work by both mechanical interlocking and friction yep. of the hole against the adhesive and as well as chemical adhesion. So, but the application or the installation would be critical in this case, I guess. Too yes, much, that's too right. Little, yeah. That's right. So. Aside from just how much, how deep or how, how wide you would have to drill and what anchor to use and what adhesive to use, it's critical in terms of how clean it must be so that there's no debris between the adhesive and the concrete because that creates a, sl a slippery surface and then it reduces the strength of the adhesive. Would you say that of the three, the, he the adhesive can be the strongest of the three? It can be the strongest. Uh, I would say in most cases it is because okay. just how, how deep you can go, how wide you can go, uh, it's just that installation of it, it's, it's, it's critical that it's done correctly. Okay, we got an example here. It would be this one right here. This one here, okay. So this is adhesive, the uh, hole is drilled, adhesive is, is placed inside the hole, and then the fastener is put in there. Is there anything about the fastener, or the width of the hole versus the width of the fastener, that sort of thing that's important? There is an equivalency or, or a chart that you have to follow. Each manufacturer is different, but mm -hmm. there is a ratio or, or a distance that you have to keep between uh, how, what's the diameter of the rod itself and what's the yeah. diameter of the hole. Now the rod is often, uh, in some way, the surface is variegated in order to provide some mechanical adhesion? That's right, so when, it, when this, this sort of anchoring uh, mechanism fails, it fails at the interface between the adhesive and the concrete. Okay. Not between, not so much, it, it, I'm not saying not, it can't happen, but uh, it's a less likely one to happen. It's between the rod itself and the adhesive. Okay, so let's talk about the screw now. Now you've got a direct connection between the concrete and the screw. So in this one, there's still need to, to drill, but the threads are interlocking the concrete and mm -hmm. installation overall is much faster. Just right. drill barely enough cleaning just to remove the excess and then drive your screw. So higher productivity, possible for failure, depending on the quality of the concrete, I would think. Yeah, so there's three different kinds of failure. Just like we talked in the last uh, episode, uh, in this case, when you're talking about concrete substrates, you can have the concrete breakout, mm -hmm. you can have the, the rod or the screw or the mechanical anchor break, and mm -hmm. that you're, you're overcoming the steel strength, and then you can have whatever interlocking or, or, or interacting mechanism fail, so the mm -hmm. threads might just uh, break off and then screw will right. uh, come out. Now the expansion is a little different than the screw. In the sense of screw, you're providing adhesion throughout the shaft. That's right. In this particular case, it's really kind of a contraction. Well, how would you describe the, the forces behind an expansion? So screw? for expansion anchors, and it varies because you, you can have a sleeve expansion anchors or wedge expansion anchors, uh, it all happens by opening a certain section or clip of the fastener or the anchor. Mm. Apply, that provides pressure on the concrete okay. and that lateral pressure is what gives you that right. vertical tensile right. uh, strength. Now and do you provide that pressure by driving this screw down, right? Is yeah, so there's the drilling side of it, then there's, you have to hammer in the anchor itself mm. 
and then you have to torque it to a uh, specific or uh, what they call a setting torque in order for this to expand enough so that you can guarantee the performance. Gotcha. Okay, we've got examples of all three here. T tell me what I'm looking at. So this would be an example of an adhesive yep. failure 3-8 three, three uh, rod. Then this is a screw anchor 3-8 screw anchors as well. And then this is a wedge anchor 3-8 wedge anchor. Gustavo, if our readers want to know more about anchoring in concrete, can they email you? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, if you have any questions about anchoring in concrete, you can email Gustavo at the email address across the bottom of the screen. You can learn everything you need to know. Make sure you get the right fastener for the right application.